Our secret little project today is we're going to shorten the bed on this trail finder. Hello. What are we doing today, mate? We're going to sh we're going to shorten the bed on this pickup truck. It's a trail finder Hilux. So I've done a lot of these in real life, and um, we've got some tools here. We're going to cut this side of the tape on both sides, and we're going to put the tailgate aside. I and then, we got it. Well, I got, got it. it. Okay, let's have a look. So what we got to do first, like I said, we've done a lot of these in real life. We've cut a lot of trucks, but not normally with a hacksaw, normally with big grinders. So what we'll do is we're going to, it's a brand new 32 tool. Gently, gently, gently. Good boy. Nice and strong. Now, now we got the thing off the car. What does it say? Toyota. Yeah. Cool, right? Okay, so we've cut this back bit off. And now we're going to decide how short we're going to make it. But see these two holes here? So that back part comes on here and that's what locks it on. So we've removed the rear bar, which we won't need because we're going to shorten the chassis. And then we've taken this section out and we're going to have to drill some new holes and move it forward and re-drill these holes closer to the cab. So the next section is to be cutting and making the length of it. Okay, there's the length of our truck. That's how much we shortened it by. It's quite a lot. All right, I'm going to put, I'm going to put the cross member back in. We've got a file here just to clean up the edges before we... It's much easier than doing the real car. Nicholas is playing in his sandpit, he's bored. Hopefully you're not bored at home. Big? Which one's this? What's he called? Flaming Head. Flaming Head? What's this one called? Dinosaur Minosaur. Dinosaur Minosaur? What's this one called? Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, because it's got a Hot Wheels. And then, look one. What's this one? Lime Head. Lime Head. Okay, which one's going first? Lime Head? Okay, I'll be at the least. These two are. I'm doing it. I'm going to be at the end. Okay, the end. Right here it goes. This is from the end backwards. Okay, he's starting. So first you need to put this thing like that, and that like that. This guy made it. Really? Yeah. Now I've had to modify that cross member. It's a little bit too long where it was sitting on the chassis. So I've got to cut four mil off it, and then I need to find a longer threaded screw to put through it. Okay, so we've cut this cross member down. We've taken five, six mil off it. We've picked up the, sh the shackle um, bracket bolt off. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna slip this in there so we can share it with the other bolt. We've found some longer stainless steel threaded rods that we have in the kit. What we'll do is we'll bolt this in and then we'll need two new holes here, but that's later. So that's how, we, that's how we'll fix the cross member section. Too easy. Hello. All right, okay, so we've established that we've moved this cross member in 22 millimeters away from the original hole. So if we line that up there, we know that it's in that bay. And we know that it's 22 mil. So it's pretty much, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do the right size drill bit. Nicholas, do you want to come and drill this? Come outside, Nicholas. Hello. I'm going to drill it. Let's see. I'll just start them for you, and then you can drill them outside. You might keep it up. Now. We're drill into that. Oh, are you gonna do that? I've done the pilot hole. Okay. So. Wow. It's okay, gone through. Yep. 
Oh, excellent. Pull it up. Okay. So there are our two new hole sections. Put the collars back on because that's the lift that we gave it last time we modified it. This should slip right on and these should slip right over the side of the body. Which will tell us we've got that positioning right. That's it. How cool does that look? And then we put our safety pins in there. Great section back on. And we glue it all back up. But that's going to be the finished product. A little bit of cleaning up to get that to marry beautifully. And we'll chop the chassis a little bit. How good did it come up? Now we'll give it a little test run. You can't go too uh, nuts until that glue dries. Finished product. Glue's still a bit wet. And the kids have made a little bit of a course. She's nice and bobtailed now. Oh, she's going for the 30 point mark. We don't want to get too much sand on the glue. Anyway, there's our Bob Tylux. Thanks for watching. Bye.